Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get the updates. Really excited for today's video. Beers courtesy of NerdSense. Thanks so much, NerdSense. Make sure you guys watch NerdSense. I will link to them in the description box below. Uh, some great dudes, some of my best friends, and um, I didn't even think to send them mystery beers, and they sent me four, so they are better than me, for sure. Uh, it's... You know, it's a 16 ounce can, which makes me think from them, Trillium, but I think the top of the can, I don't think Trilliums look like that. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, almost looks like an eight or like a, I, I don't know, it's like wider where you open it. That The mouth looks a little wider than I'm thinking Trilliums look, but I might be overthinking it. Let's just get into it. Um, literally just brought this inside, uh, opened the box, made sure everything was good. I said, you know, I'm going to do a mystery beer right now. So this this is probably a little colder than I want it for mystery beer. All right, so I'm going to assume this has some fruit in it based on that color. Well, <laughs> I have a theory. I have two theories going right now. It's got fruit, and I tried washing my glass with cold water to see if that worked any better, and it was super dirty. And it still is. But I'm also wondering if this is, like I notice sometimes like sour beers um, cling to the glass more and you see more like the dirty bubbles uh, on the side. So I'm also wondering, you know, is, yeah, is it like a fruited sour? Um, the head is is pretty darn white. Right now, based on the look, I'm thinking fruited sour. Um, it kind of looks like a very light red grapefruit juice color, some orange mixed in there, you know, and, uh, I have an orange mixed in. It's very orangey. Um, and with a little bit like this pink vibe, which is, again, making me think this, like, pink grapefruit juice kind of color. The head is start starting to finally go down. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so no legs, which makes me think lower ABV, but that lacing goes away pretty quickly. Okay, let's get into the aroma. Well, I think I was on the money with some sort of fruited sour. I get a little bit of a sulfur note as well. You could tell me some different berries and I would believe you. There's a lemon citrusness, but it might be from the base beer. I don't know if it has citrus. Some peach skin. Okay, Let's see what the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Nerd Science. And seriously, everyone, make sure you check them out. This is very refreshing, vibrant, has a little bit of that sourness, but there is some like fruit going on. So, cause if it's just a sour beer, and I know, I know there's not like a lot of sour beers anymore that don't have fruit, but if it's just sour, I typically don't like the beers. I really like them when there's some fruit. And then there's that doughy malt thing that I really like in the in this style of beers. So I'm thinking this is probably uh, sub five. The sour tartness is making the fruit, like me guessing the fruit, really difficult. It has a little bit of like this rhubarb thing. And I know he knows that, well, I know that he knows I love rhubarb. And, uh, but I think it's just whatever the fruit is in this with the base beer is just kind of like that rhubarb tartness. Um, I don't, I don't think it actually has rhubarb in it. You do get a little bit of that, not throw up, but like that bile acidic is, is, a, is a more pleasant sounding descriptor than bile we get a little bit of that kind of like the aroma there's like a effervescent peachiness to it but like peach skin man you could tell me a lot of different fruits you could tell me a little bit of raspberry I would believe you some peach or apricot like I said the rhubarb I, I I don't think I'm going to correctly pull the fruit or fruits that are in this beer. Um, I'm, I'm going to say 4. Point, I'll just say 4.5. I kind of want to say 4.2. I'm going to say 4.5. It's more sour than wild. So I'm going to say they're calling it sour ale. 
of some kind. I mean, there's at least one fruit. I've kind of said some of the fruits I'm thinking, but yeah, it's it's not like explosively a fruit. It, it's pretty delicately handed. Um, but this beer is really good. Sometimes we forget in these mystery beers to say if we like the beer or not. I really like this beer. Like I like this beer a lot. Yeah, just that nice like sour and some tartness. Raspberry. All right, idle hands. Kill your idols island time. Sour ale brew with fruit and spices made with dairy and nut products. Ooh, 5.6% ABV. Um, so that is, like I was saying, I, I was thinking of going as low as 4.2. So this drink's a little smaller than it is. Uh, the Kill Your Idol series is our nod to the new age kettle soured beers that use acidity. I mean, I, I think I, I kind of nailed the acidity. Um, and fruit to create interesting profiles that have blurred the lines of what traditional beer has become. Uh, maybe on the bottom it says the fruits. Nope. Um, I will check one more time. It's interesting that it, it's brewed with dairy and nuts. I don't get, at no point did I get vanilla, lactose, but that would explain, some lactose would explain why it's not too sour to me as someone who doesn't like things that are overly sour. So I guess that makes sense. I'm most proud, I, again, I, I knew it was a sour ale. I knew there was fruit in there. But the acidity, I think, is right. I mean, if you're watching this, is probably the thing I kind of honed in on that they're also mentioning. Yeah, I'll reach out to Sean and I'll put in the description box uh, what the fruit is in this beer. Um, yeah, I feel pretty good. How do you think I did? What, what grade would you give? A, B, C, D, E, well, F. <laughs> um, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, once you're done doing that, make sure you check out NerdSense and they're in the description box below. Uh, once you're done doing all of that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews of both those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.